You work here now? Yes, I do. That's nice. Is the pay high? I'm looking for a job. Well, actually, I own the boutique. You what? You own this big boutique? Yes. Bro, I think it's high time we look for a job. It's been a year now since we graduated and no company has even called us for interview yet. I'm not bothered about that, whether I get a job or not, God will take care of me. But the Bible encourages us to work. True, when the work comes, we will work. The work is not going to come meet us in this room. We need to go out and search for it. I'm not worried about that. God will surely provide for me. John, this is all you do all day, play a video game, press your phone and eat. Remember you are not getting younger, go get a job. You don't have to wait for a white collar job. Mom, I'm still searching. Besides I can't do unprofessional job, I'm too smart for that. What if you never get to find a professional job? Are you going to sit down here hoping? The Bible says we should take no thought of tomorrow, so I am not worried. The same Bible says, a jobless soul shall suffer hunger. But those that work with their hands shall have plenteous food. But I'm not hungry. Wait until you're kicked out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> what is it again? If you don't find a job before the end of this month, you are leaving this house. What? To where? To your dad's house in Chicago. And no allowance will be sent to you. Oh no, don't do this mom. You are not a child John, you ought to be taking care of me, but you are here wasting your time. Okay mom, I will find a job. Bro, I need to find a job as soon as possible. Why the sudden change? My mom has threatened to send me out of the house if I don't get a job before the end of this month. <laughs> I think she did the right thing. Do you want to remain dependent forever? It's not about being dependent. I believe God will not cause me to suffer because he loves me so much. I don't need to be desperate. Are you sure you are reading your Bible correctly? Because God doesn't support laziness. I'm not lazy Joseph, just help me find a cool job before I get kicked out of the house. Okay, but would you love to work at the cafe I work part time? Alright, let me try and see if I will like it. Welcome John. I spoke with my manager yesterday about you. He said there's vacancy and you can apply. I don't like the sales wear. I can't be seen wearing this. Everyone knows I'm a smart guy. Imagine they walking up and they see me in this apron selling coffee. So what? You need to occupy yourself in the meantime, till you get a better job. I'm not desperate. Okay fine. Good afternoon mom. Good afternoon. Were you still able to find a job? I found one, but I didn't like it. Why? I can't be a cafe attendant. I can't wear their apron. I'm too big for that. What is wrong with doing that? It's for the meantime till you are able to secure a better paying job. I can't mom. I'm not even in a hurry to be rich. Besides the Bible says he that hastens to be rich has an evil eye. Oh shut up. Why are you using the Bible to cover your laziness? By the time you are sent out of this house, you won't remember those Bible verses. Hey bro. Have you found a job yet? Not really. Any update? Well, I called my friend who works at a bank to help submit our CV to the bank. Luckily, yours was picked because you had better grades. Now they are calling for interview. Would you love to go? Of course yes. Thank you Joseph. You are welcome. I will send you the address and phone number of the bank. What is it? I've found a job at a bank. And I'm going for interview tomorrow. Finally. That's good to know. Now make sure you look your best tomorrow. Dress smartly and appear presentable. Be smart in answering the questions to give them a good impression about you. Okay. Yes. You are looking so smart. It's an interview, not a wedding ceremony. I can't wear this. But you look good in it. Then save it for the big day. <laughs> So what would you love to wear? Give me a minute, let me go change.
How is this? Aww. What in the world is this? You want to go for an interview with the folded hands? It's what I find comfortable. I'm not going for a fashion show. Bye, Mom. See you later. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please have your sit. Thank you, sir. Are you the applicant, John Williams? Yes, I am. Your CV shows you had excellent grades. So why do you want this job? Because I need to make money. Is that your only reason? No, sir. I also don't want to get kicked out of the house. So what is your motivation behind working as a banker? My good grades. I studied banking and finance. So it is also my motivation. All right, John. We will get back to you. You may leave. Wow. That was the most straightforward interview. What did he ask you? He asked me why I wanted the job. And what did you say? I told him I needed to make money, and I did not want to get kicked out of the house. Bro, what? You told him that? Of course, I was honest. <laughs> are you sure you are okay? What do you mean? You just lose your chance of getting a job. But he said he will get back to me. Unfortunately, he won't. That was just a nice way of sending you out of his office. Whatever. I wasn't even interested in the first place. I love this beat. I wish you were this interested in finding something doing, as you are with your phone. You would have been married by now. Can I breathe for once? I'm still waiting for the bank to send me an employment letter. It's been two weeks, John. Obviously they were not impressed by your dressing. I'm sure you didn't even speak well. You are leaving this house tomorrow. Go and press your phone elsewhere. What? It's not even up to a month. I can't bear seeing you not doing anything, just sleeping, eating and pressing phone at an age of 25. Okay, Mom. I will leave this house if that will make you happy. How can my mom be this strict? She didn't even give me any money to at least buy something to eat. Whatever, all I know is that God will take care of me. I shall not beg for food. <laughs> I love TikTok, it's so sweet. At least, my mom is not here to disturb me. I think I'm hungry. But there's no food in this house. Oh Lord, your word says whenever we ask, we shall receive. Father I pray that you provide food for me. You that feed the birds, you are more than capable to feed us your children, so Lord please send down food. I'm seriously hungry. Let me go look for what to eat. Hi, good morning. Good morning, sir. What do you want to eat today? Okay, do you have bread and beverage? Yes, we do, sir. How much is it? Ten dollars, sir. Ten what? I only have five dollars with me. I'm sorry, sir. We can't sell at that price. All right. Hello, do you have noodles? Yes, we do, sir. How many do you want? Two packs. That will be eight dollars, sir. Eight dollars? I only have five dollars. Let me have one pack then. Okay. I am still hungry. And I just have one dollar left. I need to get a job. My mom is heartless, though. Hello? Hi. What do you want today? Nothing. Can I ask a few questions? Sure. Go ahead. Thanks. Please I need your help. I'm new to this environment and I know no one around, that's why I've come to you. Please do you know where I can get a job? I need a job urgently please. Oh really? There is a vacancy post outside this bakery. Didn't you see it? A vacancy post? No I didn't see it. Oh. We are hiring, and if you are interested you can apply within. I'm the manager. John, you can't do this type of job. You are bigger than that. 
but I will die of hunger if I don't. I have to accept it. Sir? Oh, concerning that, I'm interested. All right. Hold on a bit to see our CEO. Okay. I need another cup of coffee, please. Sorry? What did you say? I said I need another cup of coffee. All right. Hello, excuse me. Is there a problem? Not much. Just your attendant. He's very sluggish and boring. He also doesn't have good customer relationship. Oh, we are sorry about that. We will call him to order. Please be patient with us, ma'am. All right. John, this is the third negative report I'm getting from our esteemed customers about your attitude. It's not pleasing. You have to work on it and build a good relationship with the customers. Else we may reconsider your employment here. I'm sorry, ma'am. Lord, I know this is not the kind of life you want me to leave. Why are you allowing me suffer such humiliation? Your word says, we shall rule the earth. I'm not called to be a servant. Please provide a good job for me. Amen. Are you enjoying your tea, ma'am? Yes, thank you. What about you, sir? It's okay, thanks. I need to go back home and start something. I can't leave on $70 a month. Yes, come in. It's me, Mom. John. Welcome home. Thank you so much. I miss you, Mom. I miss you too. And how was life in Chicago? It wasn't easy, Mom. I got to understand what you were saying about getting a job and being hardworking. I worked around the clock in Chicago to make money. I'm glad you experienced how life works outside your comfort. You have to be hardworking, son, if you want God to bless you. The Bible says in Proverbs 14:23, all hard work brings profit, but mere talk only leads to poverty, and so God wants us to work and be productive. So my son, be hardworking and God shall bless you. Amen. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Good to see you again, John. Good to see you again, Joseph. It's been a long time. Yeah. Close to two years now. And this boutique is very beautiful. Thank you. And how was life in Chicago? Life in Chicago was very hard. I had to work as a cafe attendant to save up some money. Really? But that was the same job you rejected here. I had no choice, bro. I was dying of hunger. <laughs> You are looking good, Joseph, and your skin is looking bright. Thank you. You are not bad yourself. Oh, common. You don't have to lie. But I'm not. Whatever. You work here now? Yes, I do. That's nice. Is the pay high? I'm looking for a job. Well, actually, I own the boutique. You what? You own this big boutique? Yes. Wow, how did you get so much money to open it? I was able to save a reasonable amount of money from the cafe job I was doing last two years. And I also took a little loan from the bank to start it up. Wow. That is really awesome. And I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you so much. And do you mind working here till you secure a better job? I don't mind at this point of my life. All right. You are employed. Thanks, bro. And there's one more thing. What is it? I am engaged. What? You are engaged? Yes I am. She's even around. Let me call her to say hi to you. Thanks. Dear? Meet my friend John. Hi John. My name is Rose. Hi Rose. Nice to meet you. He told me you two are getting married. I'm so happy to know that. Thank you. He has told me much about you, and I'm happy I get to meet you. I hope he said nice things about me though. Sure he did. All right. Please take care of my friend. He's a very nice man. Absolutely. Okay, Joseph. Thanks for introducing me to your beautiful wife-to-be. I wish you two a blissful wedding. Thanks, John. The wedding is in two months' time, and you are very much invited. I can never miss that. I trust you on that. 
All right, bro. Catch you later. Bye. I feel like I've been wasting my life. Joseph has accomplished almost everything, and I have accomplished nothing. Don't compare your life with anyone's life, just learn from what they did. When there is life there is hope. You can still be successful if you're determined to. I don't know where to start from. Start from changing your mindset about working. God didn't create man to be lazy, he only blesses the labor of the diligent. So son, get to work. Find that good and profitable thing you are interested in and start doing it. Above all, ask God for direction on what to do, he will show you. Thank you mom. Welcome back to church. The title of today's message is, God blesses the diligent hands. Diligence and industriousness are virtues highly esteemed in the Bible. The scriptures continually emphasize the importance of putting in hard work and staying diligent in the journey toward achieving our goals. And those who show diligence and are hardworking are promised blessings and success by God. Proverbs 10 verses 4 encourages us to be diligent in whatever you do. It says, Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. It also says in Proverbs 12 verses 24, Diligent hands will rule, but laziness leads to suffering. So brothers and sisters, I encourage you in the Lord that you should be hardworking and diligent. Whatever you find doing, do it with all your heart, for the Lord blesses those that are diligent. God wants you to work, He wants you to be fruitful, He wants you to be a blessing to others as He blesses you. Laziness is not the character of God, and so He wouldn't want His children to be lazy. So repent today, and turn from your laziness. Ask the Lord to make you hardworking and diligent, so that you can eat the fruit of your hands. Lord, forgive me, and deliver me from the sin of laziness. I didn't know I was lazy. I repent today in Jesus' name. Help me to be hardworking and diligent, that I might be a blessing to others. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Hello sir, welcome. What do you want today? I need a nice suit and shoe. This looks so good on you, do you like it? Yes I do. I have so many dull colors. I just need a bright color for this occasion. All right, sir. John, I'm so proud of you. This place is indeed wonderful. Thank you, Mom. I'm glad you helped me to be hardworking. Now I'm eating the fruit of my hands. Glory to God. He will continue to prosper you. Amen. I'm so happy for you John. God has blessed you bountifully. Thank you Joseph. And I thank God for using you to help me. We bless the Lord. So, when are we coming for the wedding? <laughs> there is no wedding yet. I'm just joking bro. Thank you Joseph, for being a wonderful friend and a brother to me. We give God the glory. And thank you for always being there for me. I appreciate you. Glory to God. 